You can't Only go out. Only one hour of TV. Is That's your it. Done? Sit down now. I'll help you with your Not homework. on a school night. We've all been there, micromanaging, monitoring their activities, helping with homework. But guess what? These are not the things that will make the biggest difference in your kid's academic success. So what does work? People for Education knows. After sifting through 30 years of research from around the world, they have extracted the most important lessons for success. First, have high expectations. Let your kids know you expect them to do well, that you believe in them, and that their education matters. So try this. If you work hard, I know you can do well. How do you think you can improve next time? I think you can do even better. In our family, we care about school. 55 studies have looked at the lives of 300,000 kids, and guess what? High expectations deliver. More than drilling them with flashcards or helping them with homework. Number two, talk about school. It sounds obvious, but don't just ask how was school today. Be specific, let them strut their stuff. They love it when they feel smarter than you. Try this instead. So what was it like dissecting a frog? Have you thought about what courses you might want to take next year? Did you get to go outside for recess today? A study of over 25,000 U.S. grade 8 students found that talking to your kids about school has a bigger impact than limiting TV time or how often they go out during the week. Number three, help your kids develop good work habits and a positive attitude. Help shape their work habits and planning. Encourage them to ask for help when they need it and help them navigate a world full of distractions. So try this. Your persistence paid off. I knew you could do it. That's so great that you knew to get help when those girls called you names. We all find some things hard, but I know you can work through this. I can see you feel really bad about the mark on that test. What do you think you could do differently next time? So help your kids develop a positive attitude and good work habits. The research shows it's more important than focusing on test scores. Number four, read together. Reading is the foundation for education. So grab a book and read together often. So try this. Let's sit down and cuddle with your sister and read. This book is great. What do you think will happen next? You should read this book when I'm finished. I think you'll love it. Studies show that when parents read to kids at five, they are more likely to love reading and do better in math and spelling by the time they're 16. So remember, it's important to read to your kids for fun rather than focusing on phonics. School and homework is a challenge for children and for parents. Your job is to support achievement, so don't be a homework policeman or a substitute teacher. Instead, tell them you expect that they will work hard and do their best. Talk with them about school. Help them develop good work habits to persist even when the going gets tough and encourage them to love reading. So talk with your kids and leave the nagging and micromanaging behind. You're more likely to have a successful student and a great atmosphere at home.